And one other aspect, probably very importantly, is that um, this standard now brings an element of risk assessment in what is being done. So in other words, although many users are very familiar with risk assessment, this isn't this standard doesn't address risk assessment in that sense, but does require laboratories to assess the risk to the result, to their customers, to themselves when performing their activities. And the emphasis on the risk of the results being wrong is part of the thinking that went on behind uh, the review and how we, we approached the review. The standard in terms of its main differences versus what we, we had previously uh, are to do with structure. The, the, the actual, there's a lot of the content of the standard is very similar and has been, I think in our language, tweaked or, or changed marginally for improvement but from a structural point of view we now have a natural flow process whereby um, the standard reflects resourcing, the process requirements and the management requirements and they're quite different in structure to the way the old standard was, was uh, implemented. The process orientation or of, of the standard is such that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we now have resourcing and process and management control or management quality control. Um, the process really tracks the flow of how a uh, item is tested in the laboratory and has to do rather with um, the the mechanism with which that, that occurs, rather than being uh, focused on technical elements, but lets the laboratory look from a, a broader perspective how, in fact, their, their, their lab operates.